Welcome! In this video, I'm going to show you how to create the standard deviation histograms for each color of candy in your candy statistics assignment. You should have already created this top half of the Excel sheet that you see here with all the pretty colors uh, by collecting the number of colored candies in each of your groups, uh, other people who have the same kind of candy as you, you need to have all of their trials recorded and have these statistics calculated. Before we can start with the histogram information, um, I want you to go to, we need to make sure that we have a particular add-in for the Excel sheet that's going to help us make the histograms. So would you please click on File, go down here to Options, and then we want to choose add-ins. Down here at the bottom we want to manage Excel add-ins so we click go. I want this first option analysis tool pack. I do not care if I have the VBA. I just have the top one without VBA. And I'm going to click OK. By doing this when I click the data tab I now have this extra option, Data Analysis, at the end. So if you do not see this when you click on the Data tab, then that's because you need to go back to the beginning of this video and set up your add-in for data, your Analysis Tool Pack. Okay, now we're ready to begin with our um, histogram for number 17. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to calculate the mean. I need to get the intervals for all of these, uh, the mean, the mean plus one standard deviation, the mean plus two standard deviations, and the mean plus three, and so forth right down here. Um, so I'm going to come down here to the mean. I'm going to start here. And I'm going to type in equals because I want to tell it to equal whatever is up here in my yellow row. I find the mean and I click on that cell and then I hit enter and it automatically puts that in that column, in that cell. Now I want to do my mean plus one standard deviation. So I'm going to type equals so that it recognizes as a formula. I'm going to click my yellow mean and then I'm going to type in plus and I'm going to click on my cell that has my standard deviation. Once I hit enter, Excel will calculate that value for me. Now I go to the mean plus two standard deviation, so I hit equals. I choose the yellow mean plus two times, and we use the star symbol for times, and then I choose my standard deviation and hit enter. Now I need to do equals yellow mean plus three times, which is the star, my standard deviation for yellow, enter. Then I need to come down here to the bottom and do the mean minus my standard deviation. So equals, choose my yellow mean, I hit subtract, and then my standard deviation for yellow. Again, mean for yellow, minus, oh, I'm sorry, see notice how I made it just put in a minus, I want to undo that, hit enter and I forgot to put in the equal sign first. So I'm going to do equals and then I come to my mean for my yellow. This is what happens when you get to going too quickly. Two times my standard deviation. And don't forget that equal sign. My mean minus three times my standard deviation. Now this is a lot of crazy decimals, so I'd like to show you uh, how to format. So I'm going to highlight this column of numbers and I'm going to right click, format my cells, and I'm going to bring this over. This is a num their numbers and I get to choose how many decimal places I would like to have displayed in for those numbers. So I'm going to stick with two. And now we have our intervals for which we want to calculate how many packages had between 14 and 18 pieces of candy, how many packages had between 18 and 23 pieces of candy, and how many packages had 23 to 28 pieces of candy. And so, but in order to do this, I need, I really do need to have a blank row above this mean plus three 
standard deviations. So I'm going to right click over here on the very left. I'm hovering over 15 because that's the row number I'm in. I'm going to right click and say insert. And it puts a nice little um, blank row right above where I was. I don't really care to have this yellow so I'm going to come up here to my fill and say and choose no fill so now it's not yellow anymore. Okay we're almost there believe it or not because we have Excel in our handy dandy analysis tool pack. If I go up here to the data button and I choose data analysis I can find histogram in my list and then I'm going to say OK. Now it's asking me where am I going to find my information. So my input range is where are the trials for yellow, the number of uh, yellow pieces in each, in each package. And those are found right here for me. So I'm just going to highlight and scroll over. And then it fills it automatically for me. My bin range, bins, are these right here that we just calculated using our mean and our standard deviation. And it filled that in for me. I do want labels on my histograms and so I'm going to choose the labels box and now we need to fill in the output range. That's just asking where do you want this information when you're done. So I'm going to put it, oops, oh not new worksheet ply. I want to choose output range. That's why it's giving us that funny dinging noise. When I click here then I'm going to say put my output right here next to my bins. And then be sure, this is very important, I hope you're listening, be sure to choose chart output or you won't get your nice bar graph which is the histogram that I'm looking for. You will have to go back and recreate and do all of these steps again if you don't check this little box right now. Then I'm going to say OK and see what happens. Ta-da! Now here, instead of all these crazy numbers, I would like to have it say bin. And so these are how many occurrences of each bin Oh, they're backwards from smallest to largest. So I was like, why are these not matching up? That's why. So there was one in each bin. And so I'm going to come over here and change this to say, uh, if I notice I just double clicked on it, yellow, oops, spell yellow correctly. Yellow candy frequency. And then to make sure that it matches, I'm going to choose this and I'm going to fill with yellow because it's all about the details, people. I'm going to impress your boss, impress your teacher. You're going to make the colors match the color of candy. And that's how you create a histogram for the bins over here. Now it's up to you to do the, follow those steps for red, blue, brown, green or whatever color candies that you had in your package because they could be different than these. These are M&Ms I believe. There's no brown Skittles thankfully. And that's all I have for you for today. Good luck with your histograms.